So here's a little interesting little point. Um, is there any similarity between the Soviet Union and the EU? And in principle, none at all. But then you think about something. The reason that there was a collapse of the Soviet Union, and as I say, it wasn't all bad. What happened was Poland needed to be treated differently. And the Soviets didn't heed any warning from that. And they went, no, 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 no. We're not, we're, not, we're not playing that game. We're big, we're arrogant. You're gonna stay part of the Soviet Union. End the message. So what happened was with little Lev Wenzel, uh, I think Gdansk, it all kicked off and Poland got its own uh, identity back and it pulled away from the Soviet Union. And what that did was it was the start of the collapse and it didn't need to be like that. Um, Boris Yeltsin was the leader, I think at the time, I couldn't swear to that, I may be wrong on that one, but whoever was leading Russia at the time should have had the intelligence and should have had people around him who said, listen, good idea here, this is causing a bit of a problem, let's defuse it, let's make Poland a special example and we will keep the Soviet Union together. Instead, what happened was they pulled away, late 80s, and then there was an avalanche. Every other country suddenly decided it was a brilliant idea to pull out of the Soviet Union and it collapsed. So, Brexit, Angela Merkel, Merkel my favorite woman in the world. Cameron goes over to see her, wishy-washy as he was, and says, listen, Britain needs to be treated as a separate identity and as a special case, and it does. We've got reasons and rights to be treated differently than the likes of Italy, Greece, to name but two. Holland's another one that needs to be treated differently, otherwise they will follow suit. But, our good old German Chancellor, arrogant as she was, and our wishy-washy Cameron who didn't actually say, look, I think there is a risk that we might vote Brexit, he would have gone over there and said, look, this is all just trivial rubbish. I'm perfectly aware that we're not going to lose the vote here, uh, but I'm just here in Brussels to have a bit of a chat with you, say, do you want to make any special uh, compromises? She said, no, no go. And the pair of them had the arrogance to do it. And it could be the start of the complete and utter collapse of the EU, purely and simply because she didn't see the writing on the wall and the fact that Britain was a special case. I'm just saying, don't, don't shoot me, you know, there you go.